What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we're going to be doing a squad for less than 20k MT. This squad is honestly really, really nice, and you can see in the highlights, I scored nearly 100 points with it. Really, the more I use cheap squads, the more I think that this is almost the case. The gameplay, there's only really a couple of things that matter. Speed, speed with ball, dunk ratings, dunk tendencies, and open shot 3 ratings. Obviously, Hall of Fame Minimalist helps and Hall of Fame Difficult Shots. Posterizer helps a little bit, but that's not that big a deal, to be honest, from what I've seen. And yeah, there are honestly some cards in this squad that are better than diamond cards. Well, like the weaker diamonds. But um, just the way the game seems to be this year, a squad like this should be able to compete with an awful lot of squads. Well, obviously, I would still say I'd take the likes of Team Act and Amara DeRozan, Baron Davis over these cards, Sidney Moncrief. But these cards are all exceptional, and they're so, so cheap. So at the point guard position, we have got a two guard, and it is a ruby. Um, why did I skip through that? It's Ruby Amar Shumpert, the best budget card in the game by far. 94 offensive and defensive overall. I'm getting 10 and a half points per game for me, but as you can see, I made a video yesterday on him. Well, it was uploaded yesterday, that was recorded a couple of days ago, where he nearly beat T Mac by himself. He actually nearly outscored a um, T Mac like. He's um, got five gold badges, including gold posterizer, which feels like Hall of Fame. He jams it on everybody. He has got a 92 driving layup. He has got a open shot mid of 89, open shot three of 89 with a release that's not great, but not terrible. He's an 85 free throw, 80 bong, 88 bong throws, we can speed boost. He's got insane defensive stats, 96 lateral quickness, 96 steal, on ball defense of 85, not the biggest deal. He's got um, driving to 95, which is insane, speed of 90, which is unreal, speed with ball 86, acceleration 90 is good. Also with 95 driving dunk tendency, which is absolutely insane. So this card is like the best widget card. It's even better than the guy at small forward. Even though stats wise, the guy small forward should be better. Ruby Amon Shumber just plays better. He gets all the blow by animations. He's so hard to stop with that and is a lockdown defender. The two we have got from the All-Star Weekend Collection, still a great card for about 1 KMT, it's Dion Waiters. So Dion Waiters is basically slightly better offensive than Mont Shumpers, with worse defense, but the only reason why this card isn't the best budget card in the game, or up there with the best budget cards in the game, is because he does have the personality badge wildcard. Everything else is good, but wildcard can cause people to miss uh, shots quite frequently, which is not the best thing, if, you, if I'm being completely honest. It's not the best thing, and he does miss a lot of wide open shots that you think are for absolutely no reason. 6'4'2", guys, are not particularly tall. He has got a driving layup of 92. He's got an open shot made of 94, open shot 3 of 92 with a really nice release. He's also got um, 92 ball control, which is really nice. Defensively, not the best. 84 lateral quickness, 85 steal on ball, defensive IQ 80. Not bad by any means, but not the best. He also has a 95 driving down with 85 tendency. Nowhere near as good a dunker as Amon Shumpert, but a better shooter, which is why I have him at the 2 and Amon Shumpert at the 1. And he isn't as fast as Amon Shumpert either. Same speed with Bob, a little bit slower speed and acceleration, but still none of them are bad at all for a 2 guard. At the 3, we have got All-Star Weekend, Brent Barry. Brent Barry, this looks like a 3-point contest, Brent Barry, but I'm almost certain Brent Barry has won the dunk contest as well. 87 defense, 94 offensive overall. He was at 3 All of Fame badges, catch and shoot corner specials and deep range dead eye. Which is absolutely insane. He's got um, posterizer and obsidian finisher as well. He's a six seven small forward, so not particularly tall, not particularly small. Not the best driving layup. Good enough open shot mid of eighty nine. Great open shot three of eight, of ninety eight. But with his release, it's not a terrible release. But he's not going to shoot them off the dribble, regardless of what his rating is, because it is a slightly longer release. If he's wide open from the corners with those badges, he makes pretty much every single shot. But otherwise, like he's not. His rating feels like maybe an 85 shot three. It does not feel like a 98, like the rating would suggest. 97 free throw, doesn't miss from the line. He can speed boost at 86 ball control. He's got decent enough lateral quickness. He's got a great steal of 88. Decent enough on ball defense, like you of 85. He's also got a 97 driving dunk with a tendency of 100. He's got a 95 contact dunk, which is insane. He just jams on everybody. Speed 86, speed by 285, acceleration not bad at all for small forward with 96 vertical and a beast of a card. At the four, I'm going to be using one of the best sapphire cards in the game, and it's Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is a 92 offensive overall, 82 defensive overall. He's a small ball four. He's got no post game whatsoever. Not a good post hooker fadeaway, but a great driving layup. He's got a decent enough, or good open shot mid, sorry, of 89. Good open shot three of 90 with a cash release, so it feels way better. He's got an uh, 88 free throw. I can't wait till he gets maybe a root B or an amethyst card and his ball control goes up to an 86 because that'll be just so cheese. This card will be like, oh, I don't even know how good this card's gonna be if it could speed boost. But, um,. He's got okay rebounding stats, but not the best. 82 lateral quickness is really good for a power forward, especially if you're playing these guys running someone like a LeBron at power forward. 
AD Seal is good. Armbar defense IQ, not terrible. Low post defense IQ, okay, I guess, to 75. Speed 82 is good for power 4. Good speed of ball, good acceleration, so you can push the floor. Driving of 85, intensity of 85 is good. Honestly, just for as far as cheap players go, with the way the game is this year, is a perfect card to use. And at the 5, I'm going to use a center that I'm at really, really enjoying using recently, and it's Ruby Joel Embiid. This card, 86 defense, overall 93 offense, overall 7 foot tall, comes with a couple of bronze badges, which isn't great. He's got an 84 driving layup, great standing layup, great post hook and fade away. He's got a great shot mid, good shot 3 with a really nice release, especially for mid. Not the best release from 3, but great for mid. Great free throw rating. He's got great defensive rebounding. He's also got a 96 block, great low post defensive IQ, 95 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk, 79 speed, which is insane for center, great tendencies. This card's a ruby. I couldn't care less what color it is. It's easily a top five center right now in NBA 2K18 in my team. Even look at the stats. If you put those stats on a 94 overall or 95 overall diamond, no one would question it. That's how good this card's stats are. Just because its color is ruby doesn't mean it's any worse than cards that are uh, other tiers. Off the bench at the one, we are going to be using the Aaron Fox Emerald. I dropped 50 in a couple of games with him, averaging 17 points a game for me, and he dominated in this game for the highlights as well. 91 driving layup is really nice. He's got a great shot mid. Open shot 3 of 70 of 87 with arguably the best release in the game. Great ball control. Well, he can speed boost, not the best ball control. 95 lateral quickness and staying. Good steal. 85 driving dunk with 95 tendency. Jams on people and just a beast of a card. Plays way above his stats. At the 2, we have got um, Ruby Antonio Daniels. Flat out shooter. Flat out shooter. Like one of the best releases in the game. He's averaging 8.5 points per game for me. He's got um, a driving layup 95, which is good. He's got a decent shot mid, decent shot three ratings wise, but he's the best release in the game. So he's one of the best shooters in the game. He's got good overall stats. He's got decent enough driving dunk with, with a poor tendency. Good speed, can definitely play a little bit as your primary ball handler because he can speed boost. And just such a solid card. And you can pick him up for 500 coins most of the time. At the three, we are actually gonna run with an Emerald and it's Jared Jeffries. Jared Jeffries, 6 foot 11, just a defensive beast. Like he's played, actually, he's only played five games because I used him. Oh, yeah, I forgot. When I used this card loads back when he was out, I was on the, still on the PS4. But um, he's played so many games for me. Solid stats, like nothing spectacular on offense. He'll dunk quite well because of his 100 tendency. But um, yeah, just nothing spectacular, but a great defensive card and really versatile. At the four, we have got 7 foot 3, Chris Tapps Porzingis. Like, he's 7 foot 3. There's not much more I have to say. Like, he's 7 3 and can shoot and also has good speed of 72. Like, he's Porzingis. Everyone's used Porzingis. They know exactly what he's going to give you. He's going to get boards. He's going to shoot. And he's going to be arguably the best power forward in the game. Like, his um, Ruby plays better than most diamonds for me. And I've used accounts with God Squads. And Ruby Porzingis is still the best power forward I've used so far this year. Haven't used Diamond Anthony Davis. Probably would overtake it. But yeah, Porzingis is definitely up there. At the five, we have got, who else do you think I'm going to put in this squad? He's still 1,000 MT. It's Dragon Bender. Dragon Bender, averaging 11.8 points per game for me through 11 games. He's also shooting a seriously high percentage and slightly under 50% from three. Like, there's nothing. He's also averaging a block a game and nearly a steal a game. Dragon Bender is absolutely incredible for me. And, like, I know you guys don't want me to use him, but if you've ever watched my gameplays, Bender dominates. He's one of my best players, and there's a reason he starts for my main team, or between him and Embiid, one of the two of them is going to start. I just really like this card. Okay, last three off the bench, first of all, in case we need more offense and Jared Jeffries isn't bringing any, for about a 1,000 MT, I'm going to put in Sapphire uh, Chandler Parsons. This card is, again, really nice. Averaging 13 points per game for me, three gold badges. He's got uh, he's 6'9", so he's a tall, small forward. He's also got a good shot mid, great release. Decent enough driving layup. He's got a good open shot three of 91. He's also got a decent enough free throw. He's got good enough defensive stats. Driving over 75, 10 of 80. He'll dunk a little bit. Good speed, speed of ball acceleration. Well, decent for a small forward. Good for shooting small forward. And like, this guy's not going to do much. But um, especially because you're going to be running nearly everything through the Iron Fox. If you don't need defense, you want offense. You can just replace him with Jeffries. And you've got four shooters around one of the best slashing point guards in the game. Next, we've got a center in case they're destroying Bender in the post, which has yet to happen. People keep telling me, if you come up against Diamond Shaq, they're going to destroy Dragon Bender. Nobody destroys Dragon Bender in the post. Well, no one has yet, anyway. But um, it's a Mecha Okafor. A Mecha Okafor is basically a Sam Whiteside without uh, Hall of Fame badges. He comes with five gold badges. He's 6'10", so he's not particularly tall, but he's got a great driving layup of 95, which is insane for a center. 
He's got a good post looking fade away. He's got an okay shot mid. He doesn't have any shot three whatsoever. Okay free throw, I guess. Decent enough passing stats. Great rebounding stats. He's got a 95 block, which is insane. Good enough steal. He's got good on-ball defensive IQ of 87. He's got a driving dunk of 85. Uh, standing dunk of 95 is good. 70 speed percent is good. Driving and flashy dunk tendency builds of 95. Standing dunk tendency of 100. And being dead honest, I would actually rather run with the Sapphire um, Larry Sanders just for my play style, but apparently Emeka Okafor dominates for certain people and just, I haven't seen it yet, but um, Emeka Okafor is cheaper, so I'm going to put him in the squad. And last off the bench for 600 MT, one of the better shooters in the game, it's a Sapphire, I'm not going to say one of the best, one of the better shooters, and where is he, Kevin Martin, there he is. So Kevin Martin, solid enough uh, stats wise, but in my opinion his release is cash. He's only averaging three points a game because I don't actually shoot with him that much. Comes with three gold badges. He's also got a driving layup of 90. Uh, open shot made of 90. Open shot 3 of 88. He's got 86 ball control, which is really nice. He's also got um okay, I guess, defense. Because he's got decent lateral quickness. Even though his defensive stats are poor, he, he doesn't feel bad on defense. Not the best driving dunk, but a decent tendency. Good enough speed to be a bond acceleration. And for a guy at the end of your bench for like just over 500 coins, you cannot go wrong with a Kevin Martin card. So anyway, this is the team. This is, in my opinion, the best team you can get for 20k MT. So anyway, now let's get on to the highlights. So anyway, that's the video. In my opinion, it's the best team you can get for 20k MT. This squad has got everything. It's got shooters, it's got slashers, it's got defenders, it's got guys that can do absolutely everything, it's got guys that can speed boost, it's got guys that can blow by people, it's got guys that can abuse the 2k system this year, and honestly, well, it's not going to beat the best of the best squads. This team can compete with a team in around the 150 to 200k price range, no bother. A lot of the times you see guys going out with all Amethyst cards or even some of the Diamond cards that aren't the best. This team can honestly compete with all the worst Diamonds. Probably better than all the worst Diamonds to be honest. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.